good morning beautiful people hello i'm karanda and welcome back if this is your first time welcome welcome glad to see you this is my day, second day day two of going to um deliver for walmart under the sparks delivery app so it's about 6 55 in the morning and I'm leaving super early because I want to be one of the first ones. Yesterday, I think I got there. I left my house probably around to like 7.35, 7.37, which was what I learned was probably a little too late to get in the first batch of orders that are coming out. So today, we have a new plan. And um, we're going to get out here a little early to see what is cooking on today um yesterday i did a total of about five trips and uh i will and make sure to i have inserted i probably have already inserted the clips um of my showing my ending balance which is still not complete yet so right now i am am um, my ending total is 292 and some change from yesterday I did five chips now so that's with incentives um, from yesterday which I think is gonna be my game plan honestly is try to match uh, max out whatever the incentives they offer so that I can get the biggest bang for my dollar of, of course I want to um, try to get good offers that's number one but right now my focus is getting accepting orders so that they send me orders so that I get up high on the list at least that's my strategy whether or not it's gonna work we don't know um, I did one shop and deliver yesterday maybe I'll get another one today and hopefully that freaking app in Walmart works okay hopefully it's not gonna be a whole lot of items that I have to pick up um, if they send me one so it's seven like I said it's 655 656 now and um, I'm gonna roll out over here to the Walmart. We're gonna get this thing going. It is early in the morning. I got my coffee today. I had coffee yesterday, I got my coffee. I brought a book today um, for some of the lag time. And honestly, I didn't really have that much lag time yesterday. I know that on the um, some of the videos, I see people um, talk about how much time they have to wait around. Honestly, I didn't really have a lot of wait time. Let me just be honest. Um, by the time I would deliver something to come back, new orders or a new uh, request would come through. So that's good for me. Um, but again, I'm in, I'm in a, um, Atlanta or, well, I live in Atlanta, but I'm in Georgia. I mean, I, I, in, the, in the city, basically, towards the city. And um, so it gets pretty busy in the, um, the area that I'm working in. It's pretty busy. I can tell yesterday that they get a lot of orders. Okay, so how about this? Your girl went to the wrong freaking Walmart. <laughs> I have to laugh because I was doing so fantastic. I was doing good. I didn't got girl, I didn't got to bed super early, then got up, got my coffee, we we're good to go. Went and got some gas, put some air in my tire. And something said, Coranda, check the store again. So I'm gonna be about maybe five minutes late picking up my order, which five minutes, okay, whatever. But still, <laughs> but dang, I was just doing so good. It's all right, but I'm on my way. I'm almost there, probably like one more light away. Son of a freaking gun, it's okay. But look at that, don't be discouraged. If you miss off the wrong Walmart, 
just it's okay <laughs> just get your ass over there quick as possible okay <laughs> hey guys okay so listen i am gonna pop back in here really quick i am good into delivering for today for walmart sparks okay so a couple of things so yesterday or when i signed up for the app when i signed up initially for the sparks drivers the app showed me for the area i chose it was showing about i don't know six walmarts available for me to get orders from but once i got approved and i was able to see my zone it only showed like two walmarts and a sam's okay but whatever whatever so i went ahead started yesterday i was and i was only given those two walmarts and that freaking sam's today which y'all remember me saying i went to the wrong walmart this morning but that was why because i was so used to it in my mind i only had those two walmarts but it sent me today to two different new walmarts which makes me think that i really do have orders well i really am going to get orders from all these walmarts that's possible right which i'm fine with that that's more money for me but I got something else I wanted to share with you guys. Um, but I need to get this order out and make sure I'm paying attention to the directions. Because what this guy just told me bothers me <laughs> a little bit. But I'm going to come back in just a moment at some time today and let you know what that information is. Okay. Okay. So we are on our fifth trip for today. It's about 1227. So... Earlier, I was sent all the way on the other side of town, which, you know, it's okay, but I didn't really want to be on that side. So I came back to the area that I really wanted to stay in. I had to travel a little bit to get there, but that's fine um, because this is a preferred it's area for me. It's a break. And um, it's only two items that I have one order, but two items only. So very small. I'm still doing it, y'all. I'm still getting it in. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. I think I've done about seven trips already so far. It's maybe number eight. Um, but listen, this will be my second shop and deliver. I'm excited. This order is only about five items. Super exciting that it's only five items. Hoping that I can find these son of a gun super quick. Make it out of there super fast so that I can get at least one or two more orders before my day ends. And here we go.
just tell you guys, I just did that whole shop, got all the way done. I think that was somebody's meal for today. The salmon that she was looking for, he or she that was looking for was not available. So, I, but they had other options. The, the app did not give me an option to um, substitute another piece of salmon because they had salmon, but they didn't have that particular one that was um, requested. So, like I said, it looks like that was somebody's dinner. They had like broccoli florets. They had um, macaroni and cheese, a bell pepper, and a drink. That was somebody's dinner. I mean, I think I would have done the same thing, for real, honestly. But I wish they would have at least given like a substitute. So, they still could have had their food tonight. I mean, they had plenty of salmon. But which one do you want? I mean, I could have easily gotten another salmon for that person and just been on my way but that's okay we're gonna just wait for the next uh, offer or request to come up for my lovely little driving services and um, we'll go from there okay I put a little dry scene in there I hope that I like it we're gonna see but I don't know like I said I'm kind of thinking about getting another getting a camera separate from the phone so that I can actually document a little differently I think that would just be better I am thinking about it if I make enough money on here though I would absolutely do that because I think that'll be a game changer for me um, but I will see what's gonna happen next maybe I'll try to get more footage for you guys hold on but keep making that money Hey guys hey guys so listen I just want to come in real quick and sign off I did not get a chance and you as you see I have on my night clothes let me tell you it's been a good day um, but I was wanted to come on and just sign off real quick and um, it was been a good day it's been a few little hiccups here and there um, one of the things I said I wanted to tell you all is that I don't know when I started yesterday yesterday everybody was putting um, the little labels on the bags so that we can know so that I can know what order went to what or what bags went to what order I guess I should say although yes they separate the orders and usually you get like if you do a batch I'm guessing you normally get about two orders per batch no more than that I have not received more than that yet um, but never, uh, uh, nevertheless, like I said, the store that I was going to yesterday, they were labeling all my bags, um, unless it was just one single order and they still had the labels on them on most of the bags with that went to that customer. So today I, like I said earlier, I had two extra or two new stores that I went to and what I noticed was they really weren't labeling the bags. Um, not really. And so, what made me kind of curious about it, probably around like the fourth order that I received, I was watching a young guy start packing, because it was a pretty big order. But he was loading up my car, and I was looking at how the trays were stacked, and each tray has the labels on them to what, uh, so they can know which customer gets what or where to put it I guess well he got I'm sorry I got something on my you know how something just get like up in your gum somewhere anyway so he got down let's say it was customer Smith customer Smith may have had five baskets to unload um, and customer Thomas had four baskets so he had like four baskets let's say four baskets of Smith on one side and then he had one additional with one additional on the left and uh, Thomas all below that so I'm guessing maybe he thought he was done or something and when he moved to that second the left and right side because they had him stacked, stacked uh, differently for the left and the right I'm guessing he thought everything that was on the left was all for uh, Smith and that was it but lo and behold at the very bottom the last container belonged to the other customer and so what I realized is when he packed in the my order in the trunk 
he put some um, items in there did not that did not belong to that customer nor did they have stickers on them to like flag anyone that that particular item belonged to another customer so I took it took me a second I said let me just take a second let me relook at uh, again because they do send you a list of items so I said let me just check my list to see to make sure that customer A uh, was supposed to get that item versus customer B and guess what that particular item was for customer B um, which <coughs> like I said these are two new stores I went to today and I felt like it would be so beneficial to keep putting the little labels on as much bag as many bags as you can or boxes or whatever the item is so that it is clear who that belongs to or maybe even different color labels okay so next order comes in right and I am um, here I am again standing out watching to see where they they're putting what to make sure it's going in the right place um, I just feel like th that protects the customer first of all and it protects me I feel like I'm gonna deliver somebody's products I would hope you know I would want to try to make sure that everything is in the place it belongs right because I would want somebody to do it for me so anyway so I was talking to the young guy he was very nice and I said I told him I said hey do you do you mind to make sure because I noticed again they're not really putting labels on this is another new store I said can you put you know put the labels on the bags where he was like yeah yeah he said that they were in they were instructed to no longer put those labels on the bags but however but he said you know if we ask that they'll go ahead and do it if, if we ask them to do it my question is this why who and who, who gave out this instruction was that spark was that walmart like who gave out this instruction and why like what's the purpose behind it because at the end of the day i'm just the person that delivers the product i'm not the because you're not supposed to touch those bags they are supposed to the uh, walmart employees the uh, walmart associates are in charge of or control of putting those bags where they're supposed to go and separating them that's it sometimes people don't even get out of their car so they are we some people are completely uh putting their faith into what's going on behind them so let's just say that first order if I was not paying attention I would have given some an item to somebody else but the guy told me uh, he said well even if because uh, uh, I told him what happened what had just happened and he said even if um, it comes back to them they get deemed for it if the order is uh, packed improperly so again why would they tell them not to use a sticker and load those on the bag? It protects everybody. And I would feel like the customer would feel much more, you know, uh, secure in seeing their name and knowing that that item was supposed to be for them. There was another order I had that the lady asked for, dang, what did she, she asked for something. No, it wasn't, no, I'm not, not that she asked for it. So it's a few things I'm noticing. Okay. If I got an order for 20 items, twenty items, but I may have only gotten 13 or 17. That happened. I got an order that completely had a family pack of chicken that was not on the list of things. So then I'm like this. When it comes to this sparks delivery or whoever there should be an update that says product not available now you only have 13 items to deliver or an add an item was added to this order so that i can see that that person can see that what they're taking to somebody is correct because how do i know how do i know and i i, I was afraid to even give that lady the chicken because I'm like how do I know she really ordered it but you know what thinking about what that guy told me if somebody put something in that patient's stack patient y'all are working healthier if someone puts an item in the wrong order 
that associate or whoever was in charge of uh, putting those items together is the person that will get the ding for it, right? So, I don't know. Like I said, these are just flaws that I see I'm coming across. Um, those are little flaws that I'm coming across right now. But that's a little concerning and frustrating because, God forbid, you know, I'm, and I'm sure it's happened. I'm sure people have, have gotten stuff that they weren't supposed to have. But a good day. Now, nonetheless, it's, it was really a good day. I cannot complain. This is really, it was really easy. So, if a person and you're coming across this uh, video don't hesitate because I was very nervous of the process really it's one thing to talk about a process but to like go through it you know go through the process so it was a good day but anyway guys I'm just gonna sign out it is late it is way past my bedtime Y'all have a good day. I hope you've had a good day all.